Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's talk about word 3 of subframe 1. Once we get past word 1 and 2, which is the same in every subframe, now starting with word 3 in every subframe, we're going to get different content. So what is the content of word 3 in subframe 1? So again, here's subframe 1. The first two words, 1 and 2, are the TLM word, the, limit, the, the telemetry word, and the handoff word. Now we go to word 3, where we contain the week number, a code, the URA index, the SV health, the IODC, and the parity bits. So what is all that? Well, starting with the week number. Well, we need to know where we are on the calendar and GPS that by keeping track of the number of weeks that have elapsed. Now, there's only room for 10 bits. And if we take 2 to the 10 power, that's 1,024 total weeks we can record, which is a little bit less than 20 years worth of weeks. Since we started on January 6, 1980, well, we've gone over past two rollovers already. In other words, when the whole thing fills up and we have to start at zero again. So we do need to know which epoch, so to speak, we're in. What, what time period are we in? Are we in this time period, in that time period, in that time period? And there's ways in which we can deal with that, and we'll show you how to do that later. But at least we now know that we're after the second rollover and we're starting to count the weeks again from August 6, 2019. The next two bits are code bits. 00, zero and 11 one are invalid. 01 means we have P code. 10 means we have CA code. Then the next four bits are the URA bits. Now URA stands for User Range Accuracy. It tells you how accurate we can expect this to be when we use this particular satellite. Hmm. Well, we don't have the table. There's a lot of values. Four bits allows for 16 different values. So on the next several uh, videos, we're going to explain more the details of what that URA index is. But at least it gives you an indication of what the upper bound of the accuracy will be. The next, uh, the next six bits are the SV health. And again, that's uh, six bits, a lot of different codes we can have there. And we'll show you a video what the contents of that is as well. Then the next two bits are what we call the IODC, which is defined over here as the issue of data clock. So we have two MSBs here, and notice the issue of data clock actually needs 10 bits, but there wasn't any room for 10 bits here, so we took these two available bits and called them the two most significant bits of the 10-bit IODC term. And then the other eight bits are in word eight of the same subframe, so they're located over here. And we'll get to that when we get to word eight. Uh, but that at least gives you what we call the issue of data clock. We need to know when that data clock was issued so we can reference the time and get a very ti uh, accurate time measurement out of that. And finally, again, the last six bits, like it is for every word, are the parity bits so we can do error checking. So the important part of this I would say is the week number, that's something we use on a constant basis, and we need to know what week we're in, and that is how it's done. It's based on the starting point of a new period of weeks of a 10, 24 weeks, almost 20 years worth of weeks. And that, that's the content of Word 3.